The Montana legislature meets for 90 days each session, and it's likely that work on the state budget is going to continue right up until the end. Sometimes the debate can be a little heated, but I believe the system is working. Uh, we are holding the right conversations. Representative Lou Jones, a Republican from Conrad, chairs the House Appropriations Committee. That committee, along with Senate Finance and Claims, takes the lead on budget work. They're currently meeting in subcommittees, each taking a deep dive on subject areas like health care, public safety, and education. One early budget question is how much of the state's high revenue is based on one-time-only collections. Jones says estimates show the state is seeing roughly $3.5 billion in ongoing general fund revenues and $2.5 billion in one-time-only money. We had so much money largely from the federal emergency flow into Montana that it caused uh, essentially the income tax systems to burp out what appears to be a one-time-only surplus. So we're, we're going to be very cautionary with those dollars, right? Jones also says the state should be cautious with the budget because analysts are talking about the possibility of a recession. That could mean directing more money toward reserves. If we were not to do so and a recession arrived, we would come up here and we'd be making draconian cuts to areas like health and human service, public safety, and schools. Lawmakers will be talking about how much to invest in things like increasing reimbursement rates for health care providers and how much to redirect revenues through tax cuts. Democratic Representative Mary Caffaro of Helena, Vice Chair of Appropriations, said her party wants to make sure the budget negotiations balance the needs of everyday Montanans. We came here with a plan and the plan includes to increase affordable housing and to invest in child care, mental health services, and property tax relief. Caffaro said they're watching the possibility of a recession, but they don't want it to be used as a reason to limit needed investments and services. Because people who have Alzheimer's need services. Children who are dependent on oxygen, they need services. That's the priority, not tax breaks for people who don't need them. Budget subcommittees are expected to keep meeting for about the next month. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.